Hello everyone! I wanted to make this video to help people coming to Buenos Aires save money. Um, if you're coming on a budget and you have a 3 months or 6 months limited amount of time that you can be here, um, one of the ways that you can save money is by controlling the things that you eat. If you eat out all the time in Buenos Aires, you're going to lose a lot of money very quickly. <laughs> Um, eating out here um, maybe is about ten dollars. It's not that much, but if you compare it to buying your groceries um, at the different specialty shops, um, ten dollars could give you about four days of food. So um, the other thing is, don't go to the grocery store. Go to the verduderías, which are the veggie shops, um, to buy your vegetables and fruits and they also sell a whole bunch of other things like beans or rice or oil to cook your vegetables with, um, spices and eggs. Um, if you buy your eggs at a grocery store, as of today, um, the eggs will be 25 pesos for 6 white eggs and for the same eggs six white eggs, you can get them for 13 pesos at a veggie shop. So, um, there's a huge price difference. I also think there's much more variety and a higher quality in the veggie shops. So definitely go to the veggie shops and avoid buying those items at a grocery store. The other thing is you can go to the Carniceria, which is a butcher shop, and get your meat there. Um, you can have a butcher that cuts everything for you the way you want it. Um, and it's just cheaper. Um, also, if you go to the Panaderia, uh, which is a bread shop, you can get really good bread um, and in comparison to the grocery store and it, you can get a lot of bread. Um, it's cheaper there too. Um, another thing that I wanted to say is that you should learn how to cook <laughs> because um, if you learn how to cook with certain ingredients, you can save a lot of money. For example, potatoes. If you buy two kilos of potatoes, um, it's about two dollars and you can mash potatoes, bake potatoes, you can cut potatoes to make french fries, you can put potatoes on pizza, you can bake potatoes with your chicken, and if you get really fancy, you can make gnocchi. All of that you can do with potatoes, so try to incorporate potatoes as much as you can into everything that you eat. Um, Another thing is eggs. Eggs are pretty healthy. Um, try to learn how to make eggs different ways and using them um, in different meals. In the morning, at night, um, eggs are really cheap. Um, 13 pesos is less than a dollar and you can get six eggs for less than a dollar. So if you can have two boiled eggs and a salad, for example, that's protein and also you're saving money. Another thing is um, whenever you cook something, um, portion it out, look at how much you would eat, and then put it into these Tupperware things. So if you have a, a certain quantity of food, um, separate it into two, put it into these two little Tupperware things, um, and then that way you always have something to reach for um, when you're hungry. At, late at night, if you just want to eat something, or um, during the daytime or lunch, you know that you always have things prepared and ready for you in the freezer. So you can just put it in the oven or you're, you can um, think about what you want to eat for the next day. Um, and another thing that I wanted to talk about are Precios Cuidados. So these are um, subsidized goods that the government um, has identified as necessary for people that are living in a climate of inflation of about 40%. Um, they want to be sure that everyone has something that they can buy and access in terms of food. Um, so these are Precios Cuidados and I will give you the link to the government website in the description. Um, but these are things like milk, flour, sugar, basic items um, that you can bake with, um, you can make a whole bunch of different things with, and they're going to be um, things that you want to focus on if you're trying to save money when you come to Buenos Aires. So, um, if you just avoid the grocery store and stick to the specialty shops, um, stick to Precios Cuidados, and if you want to buy alcohol or wine, um, you can go to the Chinos. So they say Chinos because 
majority of the time it's a Chinese family or a Chinese owned business um, and they have a lower profit margin on alcohol so um, for example at the grocery store the profit margin on alcohol is around 30 percent and at a chino they will cut that so they're not so focused on um, making that much profit but rather um, having people come to their shop and buying the wine from their shop um, they also get together um, and buy alcohol in a big pool um, and then um, that way they're able to get a better price for their wine um, another thing is that a lot of these Chinese women businesses are families and they don't necessarily have to pay those family workers as they would in a grocery store if they had regular employees so those are a number of reasons why in the chinos um, the wine is much cheaper so I hope that these tips help you when you think about saving money when you come to Buenos Aires and if you would like more tips I have a whole bunch and I can make more videos okay bye